right so moving on so what we have uh, uh, what we have learned uh, in the, in the previous uh, sections uh, is the the optimum w so let me pick up my pointer um, so the optimum w here which will give me the minimum delay and then this particular optimum w is the uh, uh, the the scaling factor for the repeaters right it is nothing to do with the uh, with the size of the the length of the wire or such it's only uh, the the scaling factor or the width of that particular repeater and that to uh, the inverter we had used uh, in the form of the repeater so the scaling factor of the inverter uh, which has to be optimized so as to get the overall uh, delay uh, of the wire along with the repeater to be minimum so to x to get the minimum delay this is the overall width of the uh, inverter that we have to use for n uh, for n minus 1 inverters so this is the overall uh, you know the width parameter uh, and then the overall l by n so l by n uh, where n is the number of segments and the l is the uh, the overall length of the wire connecting between the driver and then the receiver so l by n uh, the minimum uh, uh, the expression for that so that we will get the minimum delay so this is the again the optimum uh, w and optimum l by n uh, uh, values now what we had earlier stated was uh, uh, so if i do the n such segments i should be able to find the the best l by n and now if i want to uh, you know this will be a constant value or this will be uh, for obtaining the minimum delay this will be my constant value so if tomorrow if i'm going to use instead of uh, 10 mm of wire if i'm going to use 20 mm of wire right so this constant will remain the same so my l by n it remains the same so in that sense uh, if it is 20 mm of wire my n value or the number of uh, the number of segments that i'll create that will be more or rather the number of repeaters which i'll add into each of these segments will be more so that's what we had started earlier with uh, so we had uh, the overall uh, the the wire uh, and then it's uh, rc uh, the rc delay of the wire was nothing but uh, l square by n so now in this particular case if i make n segments and then characterize by l by n then in that sense uh, i will actually have the l by n value as a constant and if i have the l by n as a constant value and if i keep increasing the n uh, l length of the wire then the number of segments will be uh, increased so l by n is a constant value and l will be a directly proportional to the uh, to the number of uh, segments of the wire so if i have uh, the l by n uh, as a constant value uh, the earlier notion of l by n being constant and then the overall length of the wire if it increases the number of repeaters will increase proportionately so in that sense uh, i will have this particular uh, you know factor to be held constant and my overall length of the wire and its delay will now be directly proportional to only the length of the wire right it will be a linear relationship so that's what we had started earlier and that's where we are now with this optimized w and l by n parameters so the overall delay per unit length of the wire will be nothing but uh, given by this particular expressions right the square root of r w c w r into c and then uh, the whole multiplied by 2 plus uh, the square root of 2 into 1 plus rho input now let this is a circuit representation for one such segment right where we had started with the repeater one so this particular portion uh, is for the repeater one uh, this is the input capacitance of the repeater two and then this particular uh, in between model is nothing but the pi model of the one segment of the wire right so in this particular one segment of the wire what should be the energy that is to be delivered by the vdd right so if i have the inverters uh, connected to the vdd rail and then this particular repeater also connected uh, to the vdd rail what is that particular vdd uh, you know the power or the energy that has to be delivered by the vdd rail for across all this particular capacitances right of course we will have the resistances right so we know that uh, if i have an rc circuit which is connected to the vdd then the overall energy that is be being delivered by the vdd will be nothing but c vdd square so in this sense if i can actually find out the total capacitances so there are four such capacitances 
one is this one, one is this one, uh, one is this one, and then this one. And then multiply it by VDD square, that will be the energy delivered by the VDD ray. Right, so the overall total capacitances is nothing but uh, the four of these capacitances, and that will be for one segment. And if I actually multiply it by n times, I will get n such, uh, and this is the, you know, the overall capacitances for the overall length of the wire, where the overall length of the wire is nothing but, uh, you know, segmented into n segments. So this is for one segment. And multiplied by n will give me for n segments the total capacitances. So the energy delivered by the VDD will be nothing but VDD square multiplied by the overall capacitances, which is given by this particular expression. And if I want to find out the energy uh, per unit length, so it will I'll actually divide uh, on both the sides by L. And uh, so this is what I have. Uh, so n I have taken this n out and then n by L and then. Uh, uh, so I have taken the L out, so I will have uh, L by N here, CW, uh, uh, L by N, because I have taken the N out here. Uh, so I will have, uh, for this particular expression, it will be CW into 1 plus rho in, and then this particular expression will be, uh, um, uh, so this will be L by N, right? Hope uh, that is clear. And then multiplied by VDD square. So if I actually do this, uh, you know, if I want to put this particular optimized parameters of the W and optimize pa parameters of L by N for the minimum delay expression, so I should be able to find out what is the overall energy per unit length of the wire, right? For the, uh, for the parameters which we have estimated for the optimized W and then L by N for the min or achieving the minimum delay, right? So we are trying to estimate what is the energy per unit length for achieving the minimum delay. Right, so putting all these things together, so this n by l uh, will come as a denominator into l by n here for the minimum delay, and then w as the minimum delay, and then l by n as the minimum delay. So the overall energy per unit length, you know, if I put this uh, w optimum, uh, l by n optimum, l by n uh, optimum value here, Right, so I will get the energy per unit length is uh, nothing but, you know, this particular square root expression and then this particular square root expression and this particular square root expression. And I should be able to uh, get the energy per unit length uh, expression. Turns out to be VDD square CW into one plus uh, square root of one plus uh, rho input by two. So hope, uh, you know, this is clear. So the energy per unit length, if I use this particular expression and then uh, put rho inverse value as, you know, using the folded uh, technology, design technology. So I will get or square root of one plus 0.5 by two. So it will be 1.5 divided by two, which will be 0.75. The square root of 0.75 turns out to be 0.866. So if I do energy per unit length, it will be 1.866 CW VDD square. So it is actually 86% more because of the repeater, right? So it is this particular energy per unit length, it turns out to be 1.866 CW VDD square. If I consider the energy per unit length of the wire alone uh, and not having any kind of, uh, uh, um, any kind of repeaters, I will get CW into VDD square, right? So if I consider, uh, you know, only the wire, from A to B and no such uh, uh, repeaters at all, it will be CW uh, into L. So my energy per unit length will be nothing but uh, CW uh, L VDD square, then divided by L. So this L and L will get canceled. So we'll have CW VDD square. So the energy uh, per unit length of the wire for wire with repeater. So this is with, you know, with uh, repeaters and the number of repeaters is nothing but n minus one. Turns out to be 86% more because of the repeater. Right, hope this is clear. So the energy per unit length of the wire al alone will be CW VDD square and then energy per unit length of the wire with the repeaters is 1.866 CW VDD square, which is 86% more than that of the wire alone. Right, very important uh, parameter. What if, if I make the width of the repeater or the inverter in this particular case to be half that of the optimum, 
right notice that the optimum uh, width which we have calculated here w of minimum delay it is for obtaining the minimum delay so if i make any changes in the width of the repeater or the inverter right my delay is likely to increase from the minimum value but how how does it estimate or how does it figure out in terms of the energy so the energy with the optimum w parameter and then the energy with you know a different w parameter especially in this case w by 2 uh, and if i do uh, per unit length of the wire it turns out to be a uh, 0.433 cw vd square so what it means is the energy with a reduced width is likely to give me a uh, 0.433 cw vdd square or rather you know one this one was uh, with the minimum delay it was 1.866 cw vdd square and if i do uh, this one so the energy uh, for the optimum w and if i optimum w by 2 if the repeater's width are optimum w by 2 i'll actually get this value as 1. Point, actually 433 cw vdd square so that's what i have written here the energy for uh, the optimum w by 2 will be nothing but 1.433 which is less than uh, 1.866 so this is 43 percent although it is 43 percent more than that of uh, the wire without the repeater because without the repeater uh, the energy is nothing but cw vdd square it's just a parameter saying that okay the energy could be reduced if i use uh, the w value less than that of the optimum w but what happens to the delay the delay per unit length of the wire for uh, two different w's one is the w optimum by 2 another one is the optimum w turns out to be the square root of r w c w r c by 2 uh, so this particular parameter uh, you know if it is greater so that means that this particular parameter if i increase or if i decrease or if i have a w value which is more than or less than the optimum w the delay is naturally going to be increased so this will be increased but the energy here will be decreased similarly if i actually reduce the n by 2 so that means that l by n is the optimum l by n we have and if i do some changes here l by n in fact it if, if if i take n by 2 the number of repeaters here is divided by half so i have less number of repeaters uh, for the same l and uh, with respect to if i compare with the optimum uh, number of repeaters for the same l it turns out to be the uh, the the delay turns out to be actually uh, uh, be larger than that of the optimum l by n right or, or the optimum uh, number of repeaters right and in terms of energy if i actually uh, reduce the number of repeaters naturally the energy uh, will reduce and uh, for especially for n by 2 repeaters here it turns out to be again 1.433 cw vdd square when compared to uh, the l by n uh, the optimum value or the n repeaters as an optimum uh, number of repeaters i will get 1.866 so this one will be 1.866 cw vdd square then this one turns out to be 1.433 cw vdd square right so the overall energy if i change uh, the optimum number of repeaters here the energy will decrease n by 2 will ensure that the energy decreases but the overall delay here increases then with respect to the optimum number of repeaters all right so the overall uh, delay per unit length turns out to be in this particular form although i have slightly magnified it uh, possibly on this particular size so it is uh, you know it has a minimum value here for an optimum w uh, and then with respect to a different w it will be higher and with respect to the energy per unit length if the width of the repeaters or the inverters in this particular case is reduced i will have a lower energy per unit length while the you know it will be some particular value 1.866 uh, for uh, the minimum uh, uh, w and then if i have a higher size of 2w uh, twice the optimum width i will have a uh, increased uh, energy